Hey guys, Mohan Pover here, and today we're going to talk about how to get things done. And this is part two. Let's get to it. So, hey, my name is Mohan Pover, and if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about me sharing and documenting my journey in the business. I'm here to show you that there are two ways to grow a business. One of them is organically doing more sales and marketing, and we're going to talk about strategies there. But I'm also here to show you that many times it's just better to buy a business with all those strategies implemented there in there already. Um, you can buy those businesses many times with very little capital because you can basically use those acquisition target assets as the leverage to finance those deals. Um, this is what I'm all about. And if you like this topic and or you want to hear more about it, like, subscribe, comment below and let me know what you think. And also see in the description below, there's a links, links for you to join our free groups on Facebook. And there's also a link for you to submit your questions. And that's how I'm creating my future videos. So go and do that right now if you didn't do it so far. So today we're going to talk about a few more things about productivity. Last time we talked about the fact that you need to have, first of all, a goal. Secondly, you need to have action items to follow. We also talk about the fact that you want to have some kind of purpose behind those actions. So whenever you take an action, you want to think, okay, what's the reason that I'm doing those actions? Why? What is my why, basically? Why is this important to me? And it kind of goes back to the outcome that you want. We also talk about the fact that many times being busy is a form of laziness because it's a being lazy because you can't have a moment to step back and look at really what's important in your business and we also talked about the fact that you really want to eliminate everything else so eliminate outsource delegate everything else that isn't really that important to you today i want to dive in a little bit more on kind of like how can you make the difference between what is really crucial to move forward in a business versus what just like is every other day action that isn't really going to move the boat, if that makes sense. So to begin with, many times the most important things that you want to do in business are usually the things you scary the most to do. So things that are outside your comfort zone or what I call actions that will basically require a yes or no response. So if it's organic growth, it means you go out there and make a pitch and try to sell your product or services. And it's a scary thing. It's, it means that you're going to get a no many times, you're going to get rejections. And many people are really afraid of it. Um, it just That's our nature. We're afraid of rejection. And you, you, you got to mentally prepare yourself and literally train yourself to the fact that it's okay to get rejections. It's okay, it's okay to hear no. And you need to really get to a point where you are literally enjoying rejection or enjoying to get no because that's how you progress. In business, if you grow organically, the more pitches you're going to do, the more uh, prospects you're going to talk to, the more offers you're going to make, the more yeses you'll get eventually. So you need to enjoy it and just get the no again and again and again until you get your yes. Obviously, you want to adjust throughout the process, but it's a very, it's a process that you want to learn to enjoy the, the process of rejection, literally. And the same goes if you want to grow your business by acquisitions. It's literally the same process applied there. You have lots of prospects for potential businesses. You talk to a lot of them and then hopefully you close one out of a few of those conversations as a business acquisition. And unless you learn to enjoy that process, many people, what I see is they literally, they basically um, step back and find other not important tasks so they can avoid the most important tasks that will actually move them towards their goals. So now the next question would be, how can I differentiate between what is an important task to take between what is not? And there is a book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, and they're talking there about uh, basically differentiate between urgent tasks and important tasks. And what you find out is that, and you have the, obviously you want the full details, go and read, but I think that the main thing that I want you to focus on is that many times, the the things that you want to do are important the important things are not urgent if that makes sense so the things that want to will really move you forward are things that at the moment are not really urgent to do so if it means like building yourself a pipeline of deal flow to buy businesses for most people it's just not urgent for them it's just the urgent thing is just to go and get a one client right now because they need the cash flow quick but if they step back and really think about, hey, what would really move me forward in my business and is really important, many times it can be something like, let's build a prospect for potential businesses that we can buy. Let's start to have conversation with them. It's not an urgent thing. It's not the quick money. It's not going to give you 
like a few thousand dollars right now if you're going to sell a client. But in the long run, those important things that aren't urgent right now will give you the most amazing results over time. And those who can do the things that are important to do, but not urgent, will get the most results eventually. And you can think about health as well, the same way. It goes in every aspect of life. For example, it's not urgent to eat healthy right now, right? Every time I think, ah, it's not, it's not urgent. It's not, it's not uh, urgent to eat healthy right now. I can eat McDonald's today. Nothing will happen to me. But if you repeat those actions that aren't, in, aren't urgent, but are important. So for example, if you'll eat healthy meals today, I don't know, you'll eat broccoli, right? You'll eat a broccoli, which is very healthy today. Maybe you want to feel that effect immediately. But over time, if you'll continue to eat healthy food, uh, obviously it depends on your goals and all that. If you want to lose weight, you need to add, eat less calories than you uh, burn, basically. And if you're going to really think about it every day, those actions are not urgent, but they're important. And if you day to day going to do those things that are important but not urgent you're going to get in the long run the best results and that's same same things goes in business i see it as every day for me it's the first thing in the in my day i want to do the most important thing that isn't urgent that i know in the long run will really move me forward um, there's another um i guess book that i really like which is eat the frog by brian tracy and he's talking about the fact that you want to do the most scariest thing first thing in the morning or for me it's the thing that's going to move me the most toward my success first thing in the morning and after you've done doing that which is usually the most scary thing then doing the rest of your chores or tasks are going to be much easier for you so that's the way i look at things again you want to have a goal you want to think what is the most important thing that i can do in order to achieve that goal many times those are kind of like the eat the frog tasks or the most important thing that aren't urgent so you want to have a list like that every day there shouldn't be more than a few tasks every day uh, I'm talking about legit tasks that are going to move you towards. I'm not talking about calls here and there or just day-to-day, -day, uh, I guess, core activities that will happen on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm talking about legit tasks that are really high-level decisions or uh, strategic decisions that are going to really move you forward. So you want to do those things first, and then you want to really think about your purpose every time you're taking those actions. Really think, why is this important to me? And when you think about all those things at the same time, that's when we're going to really move you forward and that's where you're going to really get things done and achieve results which is what we're about we're about we i mean unless you want to have more information in your head and you actually want to care about the results then follow this method otherwise if you're just like hey i don't really care about results i just want to chill and learn and watch some cool videos here and there um, then do whatever you want right but if you want the results you got to follow the strategy and again don't forget about eliminate everything you can or delegate outsource to someone else everything else that you can and obviously if you can afford that so for example if you come down to a, 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 a conclusion that your hour worth like um, whatever the, the, the amount is right just think about your goals and think how many hours you want to work a week and then think about okay if i want to make a million dollar a year and i want to work x amount of hours every week how much my time is worth and for example if your hour is worth one thousand bucks or five thousand bucks or ten thousand bucks you want to outsource or delegate everything that isn't worth it. So um, that's kind of like my, my next extra tip. So you really want to do that. Do your most important things first, delegate everything else, and you'll get your results. So that, that's my lesson for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about working with me and my team on how to grow your business by acquisitions, go to mulanpaber.com forward slash talk. Otherwise, see the links in the description below. Join our group on Facebook. Um, submit questions to me so i'll have more topics to talk about and yeah like subscribe comment below if you didn't yet and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you soon